Hi everyone, here's Dhrup Bhutani from PhoneArena.com going hands-on with the brand new Lenovo P1M. Now this is the smaller of the two devices launched by Lenovo. There's the P1 which is a larger device, a somewhat flagship phone of sorts. Uh, but this is the P1M which is a smaller device. It's got a 5-inch display, 720p. Uh, it's smaller than the uh, P1 which has a 5.5-inch display and Full HD. Um, the screen is still nice and bright and vibrant. Uh, quite glossy despite and, and it has a gl gorilla glass layer on top but it is quite glossy and uh, we had a bit of difficulty spotting this in bright sunlit conditions uh, but indoors it's quite all right i'm sure if you bump up the brightness you should be fine even outdoors it's got three capacitive buttons at the bottom which correspond to the back multitasking and the menu keys there's a five megapixel camera up top and that's the regular proximity sensor and the earpiece so from the front it's a very generic looking phone we move over to the side and you've got a metal band running around it. You've got a volume rocker and a power button as well. Nice looking phone from the side. Move over to the back and you've got a plastic back panel. Uh, now this is uh, in contrast to the Lenovo P1 which has a metal back, full metal back. There's an 8 megapixel camera at the top and a single LED flash. Uh, this phone does not have NFC unlike the P1 which does have NFC. Uh, let's pop up on the back of the phone. Yeah, so you will see that it's got a huge battery which is rated for 4000 mAh, which is massive, uh, which is absolutely massive compared to the phones you're getting in the market these days. It's got a micro SD card slot for expansion and two SIM card slots as well, dual 4G, dual standby support. Let's put that back. Head over to the left side of the phone and this is where the hardware gets a little interesting. Now, Lenovo's done something very unique of sorts. Uh, it's got a toggle switch, which is well, in some ways similar to the iPhones, but it does something completely different. It doesn't put your phone on silent mode. In fact, it switches your phone into a power saving mode. It'll switch off all sorts of data connectivity, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, whatever else. And uh, basically your phone just becomes a dumb phone, which will accept phone calls, SMS messages, and it'll act like an alarm clock. Of course, you can use it for your applications, but yeah, there's no connectivity as long as this is pulled down and which is, uh, it's a very unique uh, solution to extend your battery life when you really want your phone to get through the end of the day. Okay, let's put that back down. Right, so this is the phone itself. As we've already mentioned, it's got a 4000 mAh battery, which is a USB of this device. It's also got USB on the go and USB on the go based charging, which means that you can use this phone as a power bank to charge up another device. Maybe it's a smartwatch, maybe it's another phone, maybe it's some other device which charges over micro USB. Uh, so yeah, you can use the 4000 mAh battery on this to charge up another device. This is running on Android 5.1 with a custom interface layer on top, which is somewhat heavy handed. Uh, it's not very clean, nowhere close to stock Android. Yeah, so it's got Android 5.1 as we mentioned earlier. Okay, let's go back and let's take a look at the amount of storage built into this. Yeah, so out of the 16 GB, there's just about 9.76 GB available, which isn't much. But yes, you can expand this via the micro SD card slot. This is based on a um, MediaTek chipset, 1 GHz with 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of storage, as we mentioned earlier. So all in all, like in terms of the internal, this is a very generic device. But for 7,999, it does have some nifty features like the toggle switch which puts it into power saving mode and the 4000 mAh battery and I think for 7999 it's a very good option for somebody who is on the go, who is on the road all day long, somebody who needs a lot of standby time, a lot of usage time out of their phone and it is definitely worth a consideration if you're looking for a phone that fits that kind of um, criteria of your, of, your, of your usage. So this was Robotani and Hitesh from phonearena.com bringing a quick hands-on of the Lenovo P1M if you have any questions, please do let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.